Rush hour is underway. 124 million Americans traveling the roads and millions of people learning of a new warning about their cars. 2.7 million older Jeeps with fuel tanks that reportedly can lead to gasoline fires in a rear-end collision. Tonight, the government requesting that Chrysler issue a giant recall. Chrysler saying no. So what does this mean for everyone driving? ABC's Lisa Stark has been investigating this issue for three years, and tonight she has the facts. It was fiery, deadly accidents like these that raised alarm. And now in initial findings, the government says there is a safety defect in these older model Jeeps, fuel tanks that are vulnerable to rupture in rear-end collisions. We're nearing the end of people dying by fire in Jeeps. You can see in these crash tests done by engineering students, simulated fuel spilling from the Grand Cherokee. Chrysler claimed the tests were too severe. But today, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration called on Chrysler to recall older model Jeep Grand Cherokees and Jeep Liberties, saying the defect presents an unreasonable risk because people in the vehicles and in striking vehicles have burned to death in rear impact crashes. The problem, according to the government, is the fuel tank location, right behind the rear axle and slightly below the bumper. Chrysler moved the tank in later models, it says, for design reasons. Janelle Emery has been waging a campaign against the Jeeps after a horrific rear-end smash-up last October. A tractor trailer rammed into a Jeep Grand Cherokee stopped in traffic. The Jeep slammed into the car carrying Embry and her dad. I said, Dad, I'm okay, but those people... And I was just crying hysterically. There was a small fire growing in the back of the Jeep. He immediately ran over. Doors were jammed. He busted the window out with his hands. Janelle's father pulled out an 18-year-old but could not rescue the boy's badly injured mother or friend. The fire spread too fast. Something has to be done. It can't be done soon enough. But Chrysler is refusing the recall, insisting the government's three-year-long investigation is based on an incomplete analysis. The automaker says the vehicles are safe and are not defective. We believe that after Chrysler has a little time to think about this, see the public reaction, that they'll do the right thing and they'll recall the Jeeps. Janelle, who can still find remnants of that night on this Virginia highway. Seeing it here burn to ashes is really, it's just really moving and so sad. Vows to continue pushing for that recall. Now, safety advocates say this could be one of the most significant recalls in decades because of the death toll involved. As we said, the government estimates at least 51 people killed in rear-end crashes involving these older Jeeps. Diane? Lisa, and what if Chrysler continues to say no? Well, Chrysler does now have a chance to uh, contest the government and to try to again make its case. But if the government stands firm, this could end up in court.